Hello fellow bombed hairs and welcome to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. So as you can see his hair has grown out a lot. I thought he was bald, but apparently he's a uh, or he was he was receding when we first started the character and now he's got full luscious locks. Uh, which is fine. Fair play to him. I mean apparently the zombie apocalypse has encouraged his hair to grow, which is always good, I guess. But what we're going to do is we're going to oh actually no, hang on. Oh, okay, we're dying his beard. Um okay. Okay, and we'll uh, we'll also dye his hair. We're gonna make him ginger, apparently. I didn't actually want that. Oh no, he looks kind of like a badass like that. Like light brown. There we go. Anyway, well this is his hair colour from now on, is light brown. Pop your let's put your helmet back on. Don't need to see that hair. Go away. <laughs> there we go. Oh, lovely. Anyway, this episode, I am planning to do a little bit of foraging. I'm going to expand our little farm going there, just because it's now the 8th of September. It's gonna start getting cold. Um, so I'm going to want to get my foraging up pretty fast because come winter, when this kicks in, I won't be able to get any food from foraging. It'll only be the materials that you can get. There we go. We're finally level one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll try and get a few levels up today in foraging because it would be nice to be able to get that. Foraging is amazing. The more levels you get, the higher chance you have for getting certain more of like berries and stuff like that. But because we read the nutritional, I think it's the herbalist magazine we can now see what berries are fresh and watch which are poisonous so we are now fine eating all of these ones but the poisonous ones no so we're going to put the poisonous ones in for composting um and the rest of them we can kind of keep as is chip stones you can use to craft spears more complicated spears you can use it to craft knives axes if you haven't found any looting around or if you just want to do a survivalist playthrough which i probably will do at some point although speaking of berries that means that I could potentially make some cakes. Because I did say last episode when I made those cakes, wherever they are, or the, the cake preparation. There we go. Two cake preparations. Boom. There we go. We should be able... There we go. Create cake. So we can create a cake now from some berries. Put the berries on. Uh, where's the one with... Uh, hang on. Where is it? There we go. Cake with berries. Let's add some more berries. You can add up to four different ingredients, so you could add like chocolate, you can add berries, you can add, um, I think when it, you've got fresh fruit and stuff, you can add that stuff to it. Or we can add random berries to it. So, look, so we've got two different types of berries in there, which is nice. And then what we're going to want to do is pop the berries on there, berries, the cake in there, and that will cook it. Um, at the same time, while we're getting the oven going, we might as well try and level up our cooking a little bit. So that us grab some soup, and we will make a bowl of oatmeal, make as many as we can. Let's make a pot of soup. Oh, oatmeal is non-perishable. Okay, well that's fine, let's chuck that back in there. I didn't realise it was non-perishable, that's a bit weird. Right, matches and twigs. Here we go, that's the other good thing about foraging, is you can get twigs which are used to start fires, so all good. Right, and we'll just sit back and relax while that's all cooking up. Oh god, they're gonna burn. Cake's gonna burn. No. Quickly. There we go. Ooh, that was um that was close. Right, okay, we'll put the tea away. I I don't maybe you just need like a proper stove or something to be able to make. Like a actual oven to make hot cuppers. I don't know. But we've now got let's make four bowls of soup and eat the soup. Um we'll chuck that on the floor so we can get some more water from it. And then we'll do the same with this one. Make four bowls of soup. Lovely. So, now we've got this berry cake, which is always nice. That slice the cake using one of the kitchen knives we've got in there. And now we've got five slices of lovely fresh cake. Oh, I didn't wear my chef's hat when I'm cooking. Oh, I broke the, I broke the roll. Oh, well. <laughs> but Logan can now sit down. And he can enjoy a nice slice of cake. Oh, look at that berry cake. Nom. Right, should we have another one? Why not? Logan deserves it. And there we go. That sound means that we are now level two foraging. So that was that's how easy it is to get up foraging. As long as you read the books, it's just it's ridiculously easy. Just you go into the go into the wilderness, pick up some stuff, and away you go. But we've actually got quite a lot. Violets are really good because they are non-perishable food. You don't get a huge amount from them. But the fact they're non-perishable and you can just forage them means that you can have a huge collection. Like four hunger 
well, two hunger each isn't a huge amount, but if you have four of them, that can be the difference between dying and not dying. Worms as well, non-perishable. They give you unhappiness, but as long as you've got plenty of books, you can just live off worms. It's fine. And you get protein from them, I believe, so it's, yeah, it's worth it. All right, but as I said before, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to get some more dirt going along. So I need some more sacks. There we go, six sacks. We've got loads, seven. Okay, so we're just going to pop that full of um, dirt, and I'll be right back once, once I've done that. There we go, that's seven sacks of dirt. That's that's a decent amount. Then I can just uh, pop that down if and when I want, and yeah, and get sorted. I do want to eventually get some stairs to lead up to this to have like a rooftop farm and rooftop area. I think that'd be really nice. And once I've got that, I can plumb in the rainwater into like washing machines and stuff like that, which is just like the next tier. Once I've got that set up, I think at that point I will turn the generator on so we can have washing machine dryers running and that sort of thing, which would be very, very cool. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to spread my crops out over this area just as a two by two. And although it is getting to winter, I'm thinking I will convert one of these into a little shed, which I will just pack full of dirt. Um, I'll probably do that maybe off camera because it's it's going to take a bit of effort to do that. And we're going to need significantly more rain barrels if we're going to do more farming as well. So I'm going to make a couple of them now. So that is all good. We've got seven empty sacks. We've now got this large amount of land. We do have loads of garbage bags. I thought we had loads. I didn't realise I'd pack them all up. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, we've got so many. We can make loads of rain collectors now. Um, need nails. Nails, nails, nails. I have a little patch of four. And that should... I think four is about enough. I might need double that, to be honest. Depends how much you want to farm. But I think for personal consumption, four is plenty. Um, I thought I'd go into a bit more detail from what I went on about in one of the early episodes about farming. Because I probably didn't make it very clear at the time. Um, potatoes and cabbages are especially good... Because you can basically, they're like, leave and forget. As long as they've got rain um, and they're well watered, potatoes aren't fussy. They they might get diseased, but they're quite pretty hardy, really, considering. Same with cabbages. I think cabbages you can basically leave out and they will flourish. And it doesn't matter how much it rains, I believe. They, they will be fine. As you can see, there's a little thing where it's min water 85, average time for growing 13, average water 85, required seeds 9. So cabbages require significantly more seeds than potatoes because they only require four. However, the growing time of cabbages is really, really quick. Um, so just keep that in mind. That 13 days to grow is... Um, oh, average time to grow 13 days. 13 days isn't very much. Potatoes take a bit longer. You're 29 days. But the payoff is worth it because potatoes last significantly longer than cabbages. Cabbages do go off quite quickly. Cabbages, in my opinion, are best used for trapping because you can attract most stuff. I think you can attract ca uh, rabbits with cabbage, which is really big. Potatoes I tend to use because they last a long time before rotting. They take a long time to grow, but it is worth the payoff because you can just leave and forget them as long as it's raining. Stuff like carrots and strawberries, I believe, those are probably better grown during the summer when it rains less often so you can control how much water you're giving them. Because that's what stunts their growth, is too much rain, or too little rain. Um, also, if you have an indoor farm, they're perfect for that. But again, the, the amount of water you kind of have to make sure that you're giving them properly, in my opinion, makes it not worth the effort. But, I mean, if you want the variety and you want to grow, especially carrots are really good for getting rabbits. Like, if, you, if, you, if you're doing lots of trapping, yeah, grow, grow carrots. But I think, to be honest, potatoes and cabbages are the easiest things to grow in this. Now, trapping is a whole other ball game, really, in terms of getting food. Um, it's basically the uh, one of the only ways, apart from if you get your foraging up ridiculously high, to get a reliable source of protein. So, yeah, you want to get, and get this up fairly promptly. I don't think trapping works in the winter either. So you want to kind of get this done during the summer and then store everything in the winter. Um, snare traps, particularly good for rabbits and squirrels. Stick traps for birds, wooden cage trap for squirrels and rabbits. Stick traps, I think, are probably the best ones, really, for birds. You don't get a huge amount of calories from them. However, you can use worms as bait. And you can basically put stick traps anywhere. on In sit like city locations, within farms, you get decent returns. Uh, for rabbits and squirrels, you kind of need to put them within forests for decent returns. So it's... um. Yeah, it's a bit of a payoff. I mean, here, we are located near to the forest, which is nice. 
However, you kind of need it a decent amount of tiles away from where you are. So for me, if I wanted to put a trap down for rabbits, I would probably need it way off in this forest here, probably where my cursor is now. You want it so it's outside of your range of view when you look out. So it'd probably be over here in the woods, which isn't ideal really. So um, although I rarely come over this way, it's still probably best to keep it. I think it's 50 tiles away from you. I think that's that's what's advised. Um, however, with uh, stick traps and things, I could just put it in the in the bit over here or the parking lot, and I would probably end up getting birds that way. To make these traps, you need sturdy sticks, um, which you use from a saw on planks. So we've got these planks here, so let's just make a couple up. And that means make 16 sturdy sticks. So you can then make stick traps with these. You just need some twine and some sturdy sticks. Just pop them together. And just like that, we've got four traps. Hooray! So what we'll do is we'll just right click, place trap, this one here, and we'll just kind of dot them around this area. But this would also, for bird traps, it'll equally work on rooftops and things in cityscapes. Roofs are good though because it means that zombies aren't likely to trample them or damage them in any way, which can happen if you've got zombies walking around. There we go. So each one then required one worm. If you use cabbages and stuff, it uses a portion of that cabbage. It doesn't use the whole thing um, if you do it for like rabbits and stuff. So keep that in mind. Right. And I think we've got a little bit left of the episode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for another little drive. We haven't really gone left here before. So apart from go there. So I think that's what we're going to do is we're just going to go left. You know what you're doing. And I think down here is another little, well, it's a bigger settlement than the one in the corner in the north. But I think it's it's smaller than Riverside. I, I, is it called Dixie? I've got a feeling that's what it's called. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to go that far. But that that's where that leads. And it is tends to be very, very heavily populated with zombies. So keep that in mind if you're planning on travelling down there. Oh, hello. That's a big old trailer. My lead pipe broke. No! Crew driving the trailer. 275. That's not bad. Well, I might get that trailer on the way back if I if I want to. Um, shame about the lead pipe. Not planning on really doing much. I just want to scout, do a little scout out. See what's around here. Ooh, ambulance. Looks like you're a patient. Like... It looks like these two are ambulance workers. And this guy looks like he's in a... Whatever you call them. Hospital gown, yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, it looks like that, that person worked for the ambulance and the other two are... Potentially infected in the back and infected the driver. Interesting. You've got a crowbar. I want your crowbar as a weapon. Thing is, I don't have a weapon at the moment. There we go. Right, what have we got in this boot then? Some bandages, suture needle, and adhesive bandages. Sure. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Do -do 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 oh, crossroads. Uh, this way. Ooh. Oh, is this the um, like a golf course or something, isn't it? There's like a thing here. Can't remember what it's called. It's a country club or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Let's have a little scout out. I think there's probably going to be loads of zombies, but have a look. Okay, can we just go through? There we go. Okay. Is there anything in this office? Oh. Oh. Is that what I think it is? We're finally electrical one. Oh, joyous. Joy, joy, joy. Got a worm. Nothing else. Okay, cool. I generally have no idea where I'm going. Oh, it looks like there's something there, though. There's a swimming pool there. Right, well, I'm quite liking here. And it doesn't look like it, there's much... much damage anywhere. Weirdly. Get ready. Ready. Go. Perfect. Nice. Some more banging. I don't know where the banging is coming from. You've got an apron, and you've also got a house key. Useful. 
What have we got in here? We've got all. Oh, we've got all sorts of stuff. Book. We've got headphones. Some video games, which is cool. I can hear lots of zombies, which is slightly disconcerting, but we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Got the key, which means at least we can get in here. We are getting a little bit tired. Oh god, there's a lot of zombies there. Right. This is nice. Oh, I'm liking this. This is um screaming, collect me, collect everything in sight. Because, yeah, I want that painting. That's that's going back in the base. Um, these are brown lazy couches. I kind of want all this. Um, want that picture as well. I can hear like zombies banging on the door, and I'm like, no, no, I want, I want these paintings. There's a nice bar here as well. Potentially break, uh, pick up the bar counter. Uh, books, farming. Um, we've got all them. Another book. This isn't much of a bar if it's just full of books, is it? No, it's it's really not. And I'm going to see if I can pick these up. Did we get any? We broke it. Oh, damn it. That's annoying. Oh, well, where there are other bars we can get bars from, but it's a bit of a shame. Uh, Trapping Master. I'll take that. I'll take the expert. I don't think I've got that. Uh, magazine. Sure. Good cooking. Metal working. Trapping Master again. Nice. Farming Master. I'll take that. Fishing Expert. Take. Mechanics. Take. Take the, that as well. Um, no. Not going to bother with that. Okay. Well, I think at that note, I'm going to... Oh. Okay. Somehow you got through. Come on. Thank you. God, that took a long time. Long gloves. Don't know if that offers any protection, but we'll, we'll take it. Okay, we're going to want to go into one of these bedrooms. Are they bedrooms? No, oh, this, is, this is weird. These aren't bedrooms. Oh, they're like uh, little presentation rooms. Oh, cool. Okay. There is a zombie over there. Oh, God! Okay, that's uh, that took me by surprise. There's like a little cafeteria here. Nice. There's nails in the cafeteria, apparently. Apparently, that's, that's all that's in there. Anything in the kitchen? Alright, rotten burgers. Uh, sugar and coffee, I'll take it. There's a lot of pool tables, though, which I'm quite keen on. What's through here? Okay. Um, big hallway in there. Not sure about that. Um, hmm. I was hoping there'd be like bedrooms or something, but I maybe we're in like the wrong block. I, d I don't know. I don't want these pool tables, honestly. Let's try taking one. Okay, pool table. Right, okay. Now we've got that in there. That's placed all of this back in there. There's a lot of min-maxing to try and get this pool table. Somehow managed to get through the night without being killed. Or that zombie breaking through. Oh god, we've got a couple of zombies there. Okay, that's just, uh, avoid them. And we're gonna get straight back in the car. <laughs> so yeah, very random episode, guys, but I think I'm gonna call it a day there. Um, I'm gonna try and explore this area a bit more at another point. Because this looks like it has lots of cool stuff. Um, please start. There we go. What's wrong with you? You've got a decent engine. Why are you doing that? No. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what we've seen, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, any feedback you can give me, comments, ideas about future endeavours, just leave it, leave it down below. I'm more than happy to consider anything and everything. I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh well, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll just keep driving. Alright, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.